Okay. Sonata Software reported numbers. Uh, the stock has done uh, very well. Uh, I mean, over the last many months, actually. And we have the CFO of the company joining us uh, to take some uh, quest uh, questions. Prasanna Oak is uh, CFO at Sonata Software, and uh, he's right now uh, with us on the phone line. Prasanna, thank you very much. Uh, okay, he's with us on the camera. Uh, thanks for joining in. Uh, Prasanna, so, I mean, Q2, in a way, is the exact opposite of what we saw in Q1. In Q1, we saw the IT international IT services business being pretty soft. Uh, that business has done very well in the second quarter. The other big business, uh, which is the domestic products business, is dragged. Their revenue is around 25%, and that has taken down the overall numbers. Uh, could you just provide us some backdrop as to what happened in the quarter, broadly business-wise? Yeah, sure. Uh, thanks, thanks, Prashant. Uh, so, you know, uh, our business is split into two lines. Uh, one is the international business and one is the domestic business. And uh, uh, the domestic business, we don't really measure on the revenues, uh, but we measure on, on the margins and the bottom line. Uh, the international business is measured on the top line and bottom line. So what has happened is the international business, we could buy about 7% uh, on a sequential quarter basis, 17% on a uh, uh, year-on-year basis. The domestic side of the business, if you are not looking at revenues, but we are looking at the bottom line, we actually grew by about 6% on the pack and 31% year on year. So actually both the businesses have grown. Uh, only thing that you need to put uh, a lens around is that the domestic business we do not measure uh, by revenues. So overall as a company, I mean, we have we have grown where we wanted to, uh, that, is a, uh, that is the revenues on the international business and the bottom line and the margins for both the lines of businesses are uh, doing, doing fairly well and better than Q1. Hi, Mr. O. Good afternoon. Um, your receivable days have grown sharply, uh, I think now to about 82 odd days from 65 in FY18. Uh, what is the level that we can expect them to normalize at? Okay, so my good, good question and I think needs a little bit of clarity. Uh, again, you know, you have to look at this business in, in both the lines uh, separately. So on the international business, we are about 42 days DSO, which I think is pretty good. Uh, on the domestic side of the business, when you look at 82 days, what often happens is that at the end of the quarter, you do get a, a, a order which uh, is collected before the order, uh, before the month, uh, before the quarter ends, and collected very shortly afterwards. Uh, again, the correct lens to put this on is to look at the average DSOs, and I think in that line of business, it's also about in the range of about 45 to 50 days. Uh, so it's 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 something which is a quarter end phenomena. You book the order, uh, you know, invoice it, and you collect it a week later, but not before the quarter end. So uh, no no issues that we see on the receivables front on both the lines of the business. In fact, I mean, both both of them are doing fairly well on the DSOs. Uh huh. Uh, could you uh, talk to us a little bit about what, what uh, the U.S. market is doing? I mean, I was looking at the investor presentation. Uh, sure. The IT services uh, revenues from uh, the U.S. are down a little bit. I mean, in the, still the 58 to 60 percent range. I'm looking at the last many quarters, but it's gone from 60 to 58 in the quarter. Could be, uh, could be many things. But I mean, how is that? How is the momentum there? If you can provide us with some guidance. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. So, you know, Sonata has been having this uh, strategy of, you know, digital transformation via proprietary methodology of transformation, right, uh, of the platformation that we are doing. I think that's a discussion we've been we begun to have with number of uh, CEOs, the management of the company, CTOs. We're seeing good traction in all of it. Uh, across the board, we added about 11 new clients in the last uh, quarter. Uh, six of them came in uh, from the U.S., Four of them came in from Europe. Now, what often happens is when you get a client, the ramp up time suddenly Europe is slightly faster. So you must have noticed that Europe has actually grown by about a couple of percentage points in terms of the balance. Uh, overall, we remain in a range of 60 to 25. Uh, so we're seeing growth uh, discussions, uh, interesting discussions, uh, a good pipeline in in both the geos and including Asia. We got some interesting uh, uh, proposals, the pipeline uh, for our travel vertical. Uh, overall, uh, we believe that what we have been putting together as a strategy across our verticals, across our platformation concept, the proprietary platformation concept, 
for uh, digital transformation is yielding fruits. So I think we just need to keep on at the same pace and, and execute this as we go along. Uh, all right, Mr. Prasanna, thanks very much uh, for joining us. Good speaking with you and appreciate you coming on. I mean, I think as the management was uh, providing that clarity, uh, the stock started moving higher. It's up about 3% or so, 318 and uh, picking, uh, picking up. Pace. I mean, I think uh, with the point that Prasanna uh, made is, is, is pretty uh, valid. I mean, he said the domestic business should not be measured on a revenue, uh, on, on the basis of revenues or margins, etc. I mean, actually, the company itself, uh, it has, has not, I don't think it's been really looked at from a revenue growth kind of perspective. On an overall basis, it's more been an ROE story, ROC story, which has been actually uh, very, very strong. Uh, the return of profits to shareholders, I mean, that kind of thing. And on those metrics, it's uh, fared very well. And I think that's uh, on the back of what the stock has done uh, well over the last uh, many months now. We take a very quick break here. We're down 66 points on the Nifty. 1,134 stocks are lower. 940 stocks are higher. Uh, so it's not a terribly, uh, terrible looking sc screen, but could be better. Uh, so we take a very quick break. See you on the other side. We've got more coming up.